What's going on? Welcome to today's video. So today we're gonna to be giving you five easy steps to develop bolder shoulders. Let's jump right into it. So number one tip, this is something that most people are not talking about. Most people just say press, 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 all that good stuff. Um, and a lot of times you see misinformation out there on YouTube. But I truly believe that number one tip to having bolder shoulders is just overall having a healthy shoulder, okay? A lot of times we're so used to doing lots of bench press, lots of different movements to help grow it, but a lot of people aren't focusing on having healthy shoulders. So there's a bunch of different stable things I always have in my routine. I have had shoulder impingement in the past. In order to grow your shoulders, you're gonna have to be able to work them and have them feeling healthy and solid at all times. So, so many different things. Second link in the description you'll see five different exercises to help you strengthen it, as well as below that, a bunch of different steps to help with shoulder impingement. A bunch of different things that I do include, typically every upper body workout, is just some band pull-aparts, some around the world, up and over, um, tossing them the bands right here. One of the best exercises is just a simple face pull, okay? Adding in lots of different mobility tools, such as some distraction techniques, which you can see on the screen here, pretty much just making sure you're mobilizing the shoulder, okay? You're doing a bunch of different things, such as these. Boom, boom, okay? So that's gonna be tip number one. This is the most important thing, healthy shoulders. Now we're gonna jump into the actual movements and other tips. All right, so my number two biggest tip is focus on the rear delts. You know, we're getting a lot of work at the anterior delt, the front delt here, from benching, general pressing, shoulder press, all that great stuff. Um, but a lot of people tend to neglect the rear delt. This is a great muscle for posture and really helps round out your shoulder. So you'll see a lot of people that do too much front work, too much chest, too much interior head, but kind of slouch forward like this. The rear delts will pull you nice and back. And as you can see here on the screen, these are three of my favorites. First up is the face pull. You can see me doing it here. You can get a really great contraction. Really focus on that negative. Number two, I like to call it cross arm cable rear delt, where I'm actually spreading the cables across really focusing on that rear delt, not my back. And number three, it's just a bent over fly. Nice and easy, you can do this with dumbbells or anything at your house. Really focus on it, go lighter than you think you should, maximize that squeeze and crush it. And number three is just focusing on that lateral head right here in the middle. Now, a lot of times people either don't focus on it enough or they do it incorrectly, okay? So once again, this is an exercise, or sorry, a muscle group that often is very tough to target without actually thinking about targeting that muscle group, okay? So three of my favorite ways are just regular dumbbell lateral um, raises, as well as um, Egyptian cable lateral raises, which you can see on the screen here, as well as just partials, okay? So basically just grabbing these dumbbells and just kind of just doing some partial reps, fatiguing the uh, lateral head, and these are amazing to add in. Now, a lot of times when it comes to lateral raises, one of the biggest mistakes, it's not about, you know, how many of them you can do, it's as, is can you do it actually properly, okay? So a lot of times people will do it, their arms are raising way higher than they should, okay? And that's a big common mistake. You're gonna be getting more of your anterior head. So we do have a full tutorial down below, probably the third or fourth link. Make sure to check that out to make sure you're doing lateral raises correctly and you will get great results. All right, number four, and this is a huge one. If you wanna grow a specific muscle group, add a little bit more volume and focus towards it. You know, if you're only hitting shoulders once a week, try increasing that frequency to twice a week. Maybe add some additional shoulders after your push day. Uh, you know, if you have two rest days, you can even run quick 10 minute home dumbbell circuit or something to give them a little extra focus because volume does produce growth. On top of that, you can also potentially look to ball. Putting on some more mass will also help you put on some more lean muscle if you do really want to accelerate the growth of those shoulders. And last but not least, you guys probably thought we were gonna forget this, but no, we did not. You gotta make sure you're also pressing, right? And the reason we left it for last is because you are getting a lot of anterior uh, delt activation and just, you know, um, recruitment from all the pressing that you're gonna do within your week. A lot of times people are always gonna be doing bench press, dumbbell bench press, incline bench press, incline, all that stuff, you're gonna be getting a lot. But I do find that the best results come from adding in a couple different specific exercises within the week. Now, a couple of my favorite ones, which we're about to show you, is the overall, is the OHP, the bottoms up kettlebell press, as well as the Arnold press. I find adding these in definitely help with just, you know, focusing on getting the front head of your shoulder nice and juicy and giving you that bolder shoulder look. So the OHP, in my opinion, is one of the absolute best exercises to target, um, you know, the shoulders, especially the anterior head, the front delts, this meaty part right here. Now, a couple common mistakes, so a lot of times people will grab the bar way too wide, which will actually result in them hitting more upper chest. So for me, I kind of like setting it up like nice and close, just outside shoulder width, okay? And another common mistake, a lot of times people hinge way too far back, once again, which is gonna get more upper chest and also gonna put your spine in a compromised position. So you wanna keep upright, keep nice and tight, keep the glutes engaged, and just press right above 
all the way overhead. So bottoms up kettlebell press, one of the recent exercises I've added in that I absolutely love. This will tie in with just having a healthy shoulder, but also help with the anterior head and just your overall pressing movement. So I like it just because you kind of have to keep everything stabilized. It's gonna help a lot with stabilization as well. You just gotta press up, control all the way down, control it with your wrist, have everything in a nice straight line. Once again, these won't directly result in you having a bolder shoulder, but it's such a good exercise to add in to help you have healthy shoulders and help kind of get some extra healthy solid volume to that front head of your uh, shoulders. Hey, I just want to say thank you so much for spending time with us today. If you are looking to get next level results, whether you're looking to lose body weight, body fat, or just put on some more size and just overall have a healthier balance of your fitness journey, make sure to click that first link in the description to apply for our Polish Physique System, which is basically a program that we've created to help you, uh, you know, manipulate your macronutrient intake, uh, you know, overall uh, calorie intake, as well as your training volume and your workout program, as well as your lifestyle and accountability. So make sure we only have a couple spots available. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.